Jimmy the Jimmy the second half of the game. <laughs> AKA Jimmy W. 49ers roll the Rams 31-14, get to 500. CMC out there acting like me, doing a little bit of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Running, passing, throwing. All you need is the cogent analysis. Wild's impression out there, bro. <laughs> what does McCaffrey mean for the 49ers' chances this year? Christian McCaffrey is awesome. And it is so good to see him on a good team. Only once in his career he's had a winning record. Okay. So to see him with a great team that a chance to win the Super Bowl, I love it. And I'm going to give Nick some credit because oh. the only guy that had a better weekend than Christian McCaffrey was Nick. Why? Number one, McCaffrey didn't go to Buffalo. Like we thought he might. We discussed that a few weeks ago. I think sure. now you see, oh, wow, that would have been unfair. Okay. Number two, your preseason pick was the Niners to get to the Super Bowl, and they look like their chances are great. Mm -hmm. So, so congratulations. And number three went 3-0 in Nick's picks. Oh, oh let's let's go. Go. Let's go. Let's come back, baby. Yes. Oh, yeah. 3-0 <laughs> Nick's me. picks, second Get half me. surge. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the problem, though. What? This is where it turns a bit for Nick. Can, right. I haven't even spoken yet. We're, we're already because the two words. They not only have a chance to now get to the Super Bowl. Oh, here we go. They have a chance to win it. I think they'd be the underdog to Buffalo or Kansas City if, if it's one of those two. Yeah, but they so have so. a chance to win it. And what that could mean, I mean is Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo could win a Super Bowl. Then you would have to come on here and apologize. You might do it today. You, you, you should do it today. Because did you see okay. what he did yesterday? Yeah. I 132 and a half pass rating, third best of the weekend. Yeah, second best passer on his own team yesterday. Well, no. Uh, I, I, small I, sample. Look, McCaffrey, I don't want to take anything away from him. Jimmy G was great, Nick. He was pretty good. Jimmy G. Yeah, he was good. I, I said he was a good 84% completion percentage. Yeah, he played a good game. Was the highest ever yeah. in franchise history on the road. Okay. Let me remind that you. Really Joe, yes, road. that's true. Joe Montana and Steve Young. Played for the Niners, yeah, I'm so I'm just saying. Game. Okay, no, we're not, we're first of all, that, that was that not really a real game. We should be done Second with of all, all of the who gives a damn field. about completion percentage. Third of all, yeah, of and you make a good point that the Niners, you know, they looked like a team that yesterday could compete with the best teams in football. It'd be very interesting to see the Niners, you know, now that they have Christian McCaffrey play the Chiefs. Oh, we saw it last week. They got their teeth kicked in. But set that aside. And that was why. That was because Jimmy <laughs> no G couldn't stop making mistakes. When Jimmy G doesn't make mistakes, this is now an idiot-proof team. The problem is... Uh, don't you dare. Okay, all right, I knew you'd Don't get you mad. dare. The, the problem is... <laughs> Even idiot proofing sometimes doesn't work when Jimmy G's your quarterback. Even yesterday, we can't show it to you right now because of slight technical issues. He tried to give Jalen Ramsey two, in, in, including it when, happens. No, no, but it happens all the time with Jimmy. So we there are. I, I said it before. I'll say it again. There are. Let me do it in my head because I had the list. Sixteen guys that have been first team All Pro in the last three years at the three skill positions and left tackle. Running back, wide receiver, tight end, left tackle. Sixteen guys have done it. League-wide, first-team All-Pro. The Niners got four of them. They have four of them. No other team has more than two of them. And that's the that's the the Ravens with Stanley, the left tackle, and Mark Andrews, the tight end. They they have every single component you need to win a championship. The question is, will the quarterback kneecap them? Which is right now, when you look at the NFC playoff picture. Do I trust Jalen Hurts more than Jimmy G? Yes. Do I trust Dak more than Jimmy G? Yes. Do I trust Kirk Cousins more than Jimmy don't, G? Don't, I do. Come maybe. on. No, you don't. That, that, I do. that one, I'll give you the first two. Do I trust no, Rodgers and Brady if, if they get there more than Jimmy G? Yes. He's beat. Do I trust him? What, twice? Hold on. He beat, the, I'm just he beat Rodgers because his team blocked a punt. And the previous time he beat Rodgers, threw the ball eight times. The, do I trust Geno more than Jimmy G? It's close. Yeah, yeah it's, it's no, close. No, no, right. So Jimmy G is in the group with Daniel Jones and Marcus Mariota. Quarterbacks who might make the playoffs, and if they do, they will be their team's weak link. So, I, yes, I, I, I picked the Niners before C-Mac to go to the Super Bowl. Why? Well, because I thought Trey Lance would be the quarterback. But also, I love the coach. I love the skill position. I love the defense. Defense, unbelievable, now that it's healthy again. but the it, it, You're almost there, dude. Wild. You're all, you are so close. To just like how I went on the other side of the table because I don't believe in Jimmy G. 
You're very close. You're, you're back me, over we, here, though. You're staying I'm not, here. but these, you know what? These chairs have wheels for a reason. It's because when new things come, OKW can move. But you are very close to being like, you know what? He plays a smart game. He doesn't, though. But that's the thing is, you're well, he's not a game manager that is just, like, limited because they don't make big throws. That, that'd be one thing. But he throws the ball to the other team once a half. The only question is, are they going to catch it? He doesn't throw And that's been who ball. he is for five years. He's got years. four interceptions this year. Brew. You, you know how many – let me give you some of the names of the quarterbacks. You two will like this especially. That Jimmy G has more touchdowns and fewer interceptions than. good. Yeah. Jalen Hurts. I'm sorry, not Jalen Hurts. Yeah, no, Matthew no. Stafford. Matthew Stafford. Yeah, Stafford yeah. Leads Trevor leads. Lawrence. That's why you'll like this. <laughs> Kyler Murray. Derek Carr. And Mac Jones. Well, Mac Jones. He's got obviously. more touchdowns and fewer interceptions than all of those guys. Nick, it evens out. I mean, guys, if they, they they're not dropping all of your passes, all your interceptions. It doesn't. It, evens out. it doesn't even out. And I listen. The I the, if we the story yesterday was McCaffrey. McCaffrey yeah. doing the first thing since Ladanian Tomlinson, throwing for a touchdown, rushing for a touchdown, mm-hmm. and catching a touchdown. They did what they did yesterday without Debo. When Debo comes back, they become so multiple and so impossible to defend. They are a team that if they had, forget a good quarterback, which they don't, if that team had a great quarterback, you talk about them and be like, is that one of the most talented teams in NFL history? They have a top three tight end. They have a wide receiver that does everything. So what the guy that some people think is the best dual purpose running back in football, a great, one of the greatest left tackles ever, Hall of Fame level guy, and their defense is better than their offense. Plus a, a very would, inventive play caller. If, like, if they had a great quarterback. They got a good quarterback, mm-hmm. though. Look, here, here's a list. Of guys who throw for more than eight yards per attempt. In the A block. More You're than rolling. eight yards per attempt and have a 100 pass already. Now, how does Jimmy G keep getting on this these lists with great quarterbacks? And I'm not saying the he's same great. Way Tua I'm got saying on he's good. Because he's not on it with all great quarterbacks. He's been on quarterback. Well, Tua, but Tua's having a thing. great year. Tua's having a great year. You got to admit but Tua that. is having a great we'll year. We'll see if he's a great quarterback down the line. He's having a great year. And Jalen's not yet a great quarterback that we know of, but he's having a great year. Jimmy's on that list. I, I'm just asking for good. Not yeah, great. I won't give Let's you not good. celebrate it. I won't give you what good. You good. Give he's you. a below average NFL starting quarterback who is right now in the greatest situation a quarterback could possibly be in. Greater than even Mahomes in 2018, because while Mahomes had Hel- Mahomes. Kelsey Hill and Andy Reid, he had to score 45 because the defense was so bad. It, the, the, Jimmy knows if I don't throw a pick and get us to 17, we'll win. And sometimes he does it. And yesterday was one of those days because Jalen Ramsey didn't have the stick him on his hands. But it's not going to make me change my tune on what we've seen from him for five years. It shouldn't make you, Mr. Fickle Kevin Wilds. Well, you moved over here last no, week. Over you know, I'm, 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 Come on, I man. need to see more. You like Mac Jones. You must love Jimmy G. Wow. Wow. Low blow, bro. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> the defending champs continue to struggle. Three and four with an offense that doesn't do much. Besides get Cooper Cup hurt in garbage time. That didn't seem like a great idea. Not a great idea. But I think he's okay. It seems like he thinks he's okay, but why is he out like there? Nick why are you throwing it to him? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, I'll start with Nick. Yeah. Are you surprised that the champs, the defending champs, are struggling? No, they're done. They're cooked. done. They're, you ready to say they're not done? Not making the playoffs. Not making the playoffs. Wow. Done. Wow. Not making the playoffs. I think you guys will agree with me here in a second. I think we can show you guys their schedule. Show me their done. easiest game. They're three and four right now. And here's what we're looking at. At Tampa next week, that's almost an elimination game. I don't that they're gonna it, win that game. Ari- I, okay. You think? Yeah, wow. we'll we'll so discuss that too? later in the week, I'm sure. Arizona, New Orleans, Kansas City, Seattle, the Raiders, Packers, Broncos, Chargers, Seahawks. Huh? Aside from the Broncos, there is not a walkover game there. The Raiders? Now, did you see the Broncos this weekend? I, I did see the Broncos this weekend trailing the frisky Jaguars in London until <laughs> there was a minute Several left. Several of those are winnable, Nick. Oh, winnable. Of course, they're, winnable. a lot of them are right. winnable. They're three and four. Do you guys think they're going to go have a winning record over these final ten games? Yes. You think that's a six and four? Fine. Tell me the six wins. I want to know them. This team stinks. They have, according to the smart people numbers, the single worst offense in the NFL. I think they beat Tampa. Okay. I think they beat New Orleans. Okay. 
I think they win one of those one Seattle, Seattle games. Right. So split okay. those. That's three. three. The Raiders are a mess. Sorry, Hobbs. That's four. Are the, Don't say the, it. They are. They're going to beat the Broncos. That's five. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. So you're be, trying to be optimistic, yeah. and you got five and five, five, which doesn't get you there. And I was, I was pushing, too. And by the way, six and four is only nine and eight. It's six and four only gets you to nine wins. So, yeah, they're, they, after week one, if you remember, I sounded the alarm bells on two teams. One team I was very wrong about in Dallas. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about them later. Sure. The other one was the Rams. Are the you? Rams are they're, they're off, their offense is broken. So no, it, it yeah, is. Yeah, the, I'm the, I'm not surprised given this is how they looked all year. Their, yeah. their offense, bro. Let me just run through these numbers: 14, 24, 10, 9, and 12 the last few weeks. I think you know what we're on the verge of this Tampa Bay game that's coming up, like a, re- a topic retirement match. If they don't win, done for the show. Oh, done oh, for the wow. show till next year. Topic retirement. Do you retirement think they're match. still alive? Alive, yes. I'm not, I'm not going to go as mm. far as you that they're out because, again, the, the conference is jammed together. All right. Um, but the problem is, is the defense is actually still top five, believe yeah. it or not. It's the offense. The rushing game wasn't great last year, but it was and mediocre. Now it's, now it's a horrible. And Matthew Stafford, we talked about it earlier. Like, we thought last year, oh, he, he might start building a Hall of Fame, you oh, know, it's crazy. Uh, argument, right, after he won the Super Bowl. You put him in, I thought. No, 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 no. Well, no, check the don't tape. put that out check there. The tape. No, don't, I don't think check we had the, the tape. tape. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he ain't I in now. I ain't in now. I don't know what I said. was man. doing what a lot of people were doing, which was projecting. Yeah, Mick, that right. Stafford okay. now, if he keeps up this level of play with McVay, yeah. yes. will become a Hall of Famer. Not that it was go- that it had happened, but now what we're seeing is that a lot of – and by the way, last year he led the league in picks. Yes. Last year, they just had the offensive line was so much better, and they had so many more weapons, they were able to overcome it. And to his credit, he got hot at the right time, made an unbelievable pass against Tampa to pull that game out of the fire in the, in the postseason, and did some really great things. And let's things. be honest, if Jaquaski Tart catches that ball for San Francisco, it might be a whole different story. They oh, might not have gotten to the Super Bowl. So, there's, so it's not to me, they, neither team that was in the Super Bowl last year was some overwhelming juggernaut yeah. right. to where it was easy to see that either could step back. I, now, I didn't see going into the year the Rams they being the worst the offense in football, which is what, again, EPA says they are. But they, they have not had a single impressive moment the entire season. They're We're bad. almost halfway. Bad. Maybe they make a trade tomorrow. We'll see. Hey, Josh Allen, good for half the game. Yeah. What does that mean? We're not 100% sure. Just Stick with it. The, the cash. <laughs> not-